Hi everyone, welcome to JavaTiki. So in previous tutorial, we implemented data table filtering concept in our application, right? So in this tutorial, let's understand how can we export these records with various format like Excel, CSV, JSON or text. Okay, so let's begin with the development. Let's get started. So let's go to this material documentation. So if you want to use angular material table exporter, then you need to follow few steps. The first step, you need to install this mat table exporter in your application. Okay. So if you are using angular 8 or lower than that, then you can go for this command. npm install save mat table exporter with the version. If you are using angular 9, then you need to use this. Okay. So first let me copy this. Then go to our Visual Studio code, open the terminal, let me kill this process. And paste this. So it will take a couple of seconds. So here you can see we installed my table exporter successfully. Yeah. Now go to the documentation. Then you just need to import this in your app.module.ts. So let me copy this. Go to the Visual Studio code. Open the app.module.ts. So let me add it here. And this we need to add in our import section. Right. So add it here. Fine. Now save this. So if you go to the documentation, if you are not using Angular material, then you can go for this CDK table exporter. Okay. As we are using Angular material, we will follow the first step. So I will add this link in video description so that you guys can refer it. Now what we can do? We just need to do some changes in our HTML. We no need to add any logic in our code. You just need to add few tag in HTML who will help us to generate the report in various format. Okay. So let me add those things. Go to the HTML. Let me minimize this. Yeah. So let's add this exporter tag here and let me add this mat table exporter. Fine. Now let's add few HTML button to generate a report. Okay. So what I can do, I will create a div here. Fine. Now here I will add the button. So add it. So if you observe here, we just added one button. And we are just specifying the click exporter dot export table. If we will click this button, then it will execute this method. And we are specifying the format here, which file format you want. File name, it will generate with kobe id 19. So you can specify any name. I will specify java tech key, kobe id 19. And the file format, then this is the button icon. Okay. So let's generate same for our other uh, media type. So I will add for CSV, I will add for JSON, I will add for text. So I will just format the media type here. So I will specify this as a CSV and I will specify this JSON. This I want as a text. Okay. So here also you can specify the name CSV. This is the name of your button. JSON and text okay so as we added this button so we need to add button module in our app.module.ts so what we can do let me verify whether we added or not input for yeah we need to add it so we can add here let's add this mat button module inside our importer fine now save this go to the terminal let's run our application so let's wait it to start
so it compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and let's refresh it okay i didn't save the html i guess let me save this and also let me save all the file So you can see here, right? So this is not properly aligned. So we'll do that. So if I'll click on Excel, it will generate the Excel file. If I'll click on CSV, it will generate the CSV. Same for JSON and same for text. So let me open this Excel file. You can see this right this is all the record we exported as a excel file same if you go for the csv you can find the csv you can check the json so yeah you can open the text file so let me open it in notepad plus plus there is no option yeah we can view in notepad you can see this okay so what i can do let me format this so go to the code and let me go to our html so what we can do we can add few div here okay i don't know maybe we can do it using this css but let me add in this way because i am not more comfortable on this CS kind of thing. Now refresh it. Yeah. Now it's looking good. So here you can use this filter and we have multiple options to generate the reports. And also we have the sorting mechanism here and we have the pagination here. Right. So yeah, I guess we are done with this coronavirus tracker application using Angular material. Lot of features is inbuilt using this Angular material. So you can develop this application by your own and you can deploy it in any cloud environment and you can get use of it. Okay. That's all about this particular video guys. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you soon with a new concept.